evaluate negative 125 to the negative 4 thirds. So our first step um, will be to get rid of this negative exponent. We can do that by realizing that this is really all over 1. And so what we'll do is we'll bring this whole thing down here and it'll change the exponent to a positive number like this. Okay, so the negative 1, 2, 5, and then it becomes positive, okay? So it'll become 4 thirds like that. All right, so now we need to get rid of this 4 thirds. So here's the trick. The 1 stays up top, okay? This number here goes in the little pocket, so it's like this. That's the little pocket, okay? Always goes to there. It's called the index. And the negative 125 stays here. And then this is to the fourth power. All right. So um, when we're taking the cube root of uh, negative 125, because it's a cube root, the negative will stay there. So basically, the answer is going to be negative. And then the cube root uh, of 125 is 5. Okay, so again, because this is a 3, because it's odd, the result is always negative. So you just take the cube root of 125, which is 5. And then we still have the 4. And then 5 to the 4th power um, is 625. Because this is even, it's going to get rid of the negative. So 1 over 625. And that would be um, the final answer. Good luck.